Coming up in this video, we're going to show you how to say no to store-bought canned milk and say yes to from scratch sweetened condensed milk. We're going to show you step by step and what not to do, show you how easy this milk is to make for your ice creams, your fudge, your cheesecakes, and much, much more. All you'll need for this recipe is one quart of whole milk, one cup of sugar, and one quarter cup of sugar. Combined the quart of milk and the one and one fourth cup of sugar into a heavy duty bottom saucepan. And we're gonna start on a medium heat and we're gonna almost bring this to a boil. And you wanna stir constantly to dissolve the sugar in the beginning. This video is a part of June is Dairy Month collaboration hosted by the Acquisitive Farm Life and myself at Mennonite Farmhouse. Make sure to comment on this video along with all the other videos in this collaboration to be entered in the grand prize drawing on July 5th on the Inquisitive Farm Life channel. I'll leave all the other details in the description box down below. Make sure your saucepan is at least two quarts or more. You don't want to use something that's a quart and a half because you don't want to make a mess. Gently bring the mixture to an almost boil, stirring constantly to help the sugar dissolve. At a medium high heat temperature and stay close. So we're going to turn it back and reduce it to a simmer. And we're going to stay stirring it constantly because it might scorch the bottom of the pan and reducing the heat to a simmer depending on your stove and your saucepan. So you, you don't have to stir so often after it's come to a simmer. Just stir occasionally to prevent sticking. And you want to simmer on low heat so that the milk doesn't curdle and, and the sugar doesn't get gritty on you. So make sure you keep your temperature as low as possible to remain a nice simmer. So we're going to make sure this reduces by half. So you want to have this on a temperature like you would be reducing tomato sauce to can. You don't want it on low low, but you don't want it on closer to medium. It's, it's just enough to get it to reduce. And it might take an hour and it might take longer than that so don't discourage it's an actual easy process to do especially in bigger batches than enough to do one can worth it's ideal to do this for when you're making fudge or making a big batch of ice cream I mean this does have potential to, when you do make it to save you money and be better quality in what you get at the store. Notice how it's not white anymore. There. So near the end it's going to want to bubble up and might bo bubble over. So you really got to keep an eye on it and we're about an hour and a half in to this project of watching it simmer. So when it's closely done what else? It's going to start gelling like jam. He sort of. Yeah, I guess you would say that. 
Yeah, you could probably say that. I'm going to give it another five or six minutes, I think. Then I think we can pull it. You have to stir it more frequently now because it will start to boil up if you don't. It'll come clear up to about here. Mm -hmm. But you can feel it's thick. Start for about a minute or two slowly. And we've, we've cut the heat already. Yeah. So why are we stirring it? Just to blend it. Blend it together and make it creamy. Is it that stuff bubbling? Yes. Okay, I think you can pour it in your jar. Not to use a plastic funnel. So you want to put a lid on it? And I'm not going to put it on tightly because it still has to cool down. And we're going to put this in the refrigerator. It will be better the next day. So if you're going to want to bake something with it, I would wait till the next day. And it's good for a week in the refrigerator. And then it's also good for three months in the freezer. So after it's completely cool and you find it still to be a little runny, not comparable to what you find at the store in a can, you can put it back on the stove and reduce it more. It actually probably might take you 10 more minutes than what you've done. And that will work. You can't, you can't screw this up. As long as you're staying attention and stirring when you need to, this is an easy process. Remember, God gave you a great day. Now go do something great. If you made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're loving the content of this channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram for more great content. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and God bless.